this evening's uh, talk was uh, based upon a theme in Plato's Phaedo, the hero mystic and the myth of Theseus. And as you know, Theseus went through the labyrinth to destroy the Minotaur. So let us leave that for a moment. And uh, since this is the last talk in the whole series, what do you want to talk about tonight? Anything at all? Last of the week, it was a Missing keys. Oh, I am. Um, looks like I'm going to get a D in my statistics class. Oh. Doesn't that please you? No. Huh. When did you know you were going to get a D? Today. When I discovered that I wasn't going to be able to answer six questions. Thank you. Which would give me a C. That's good, good, thank you. Now going through the labyrinth. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, by the way, when did you know that you were going to get a D? I told you. Yeah, I know. I have a bad memory. Well, yeah, I saw after I answered four questions and I knew that I got those answers right, I knew I could see that I wasn't going to be able to answer the rest of them. The other two? Yeah. Oh, or there was, there was a, an option of five other, um, pardon me, seven other ones that I w was unclear about. Seven other questions. Oh. Gosh, let me ask you again. Um, the first time then that you knew you didn't know these two questions, knew how to answer these two questions, and the other data you just mentioned, was that very day, today? Today, yes. Should we assume then that you thought you knew it before, but didn't? Yeah, there was that sense. Pardon me? There was that sense that I thought that I'd be able to handle it even though I didn't study. I thought I could handle it. Even now, I haven't studied it. That's rather, that's rather good, you know. Yeah, but there is this voice in a sense that I was lying to myself about this. Oh, oh. There's a sense about it. Yeah. Right. You said this to yourself. Yeah, even though... Mm. You were aware that you were lying to yourself? Yes. Or a sense of it? There may even have been a voice telling me that that was the case. There may? There was. There was. Yes. May was. No, okay, okay. <laughs> then there was the thought that, go ahead. That this was a lie, I thought it Oh, could. that this was a lie. Yeah, and I ignored it. And you ignored it? Repeatedly. Repe oh, it happened more than once? Yeah. Yeah, 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 it had to come again and again, right? Again and again. And each time you ignored it. 
Well, or I plan, or I wouldn't ignore it, and I would plan to um, study. And then when it came time to study, then I would ignore my plan. Okay. And go to sleep. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you make of that rather curious fact? Which one? Oh, that you knew it was a lie, and yet you thought you could handle it, even though you hadn't studied it. You walked into the exam with that belief, this is a belief. Hmm. So, with all of these, this is a lie, this is a lie, this is a lie, this is a lie, and you ignore it, ignore it again, but you walk into the exam with this belief, is that correct? Not correct? Yes, sir. It's rather interesting belief, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, when you had that belief, before going into the class to take that exam, um, did it have a certain uh, tone to it? Uh, it's a kind of a subvocal thought. Did it have a certain kind of tonality to it? Yeah. What? 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 Like a, Look here, if you could put it into words, if you could actually voice it to mirror the thought, ah, what kind of a voice would it be? Matter of fact, could you do it right now? Well, are you confident? No, well, do it. Could you do it? Um, do it. Never mind that, you'll be able to handle it. You got it. You, you got to finish it. You got it. What? What is that last one? Um, Do it again, come on. With the same, with the same tone, though. go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you'll be able to handle it. You can do it. Your, your state of mind's clear enough. You've done enough yoga. I don't know if I captured the tone. Yeah, I know, that was a little bit. Can you try, now, now that we've got the content, come on, I need the voice, come on. It's tough to say. It was a convincing tone there. Oh, good, 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 good. It has to be, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Convincing. Right. Right? Convincing. Serious? Was it serious? Yeah, with the convincing, a very serious tone to it. Well, no humor in it. What was there? No, there wasn't humor. Oh. Any certainty to it? Not any real certainty. It's, it, it's not real because I know that I'm fooling myself. When it occurs to you, that's all we need to know, you see. It is convincing. I just wondered maybe we could get a few more words on that besides convincing. Mm 
Okay. It's tough to nail down. Oh, wow. Sure. But at least one word, it is convincing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a phrase that's very interesting in this, isn't it? See? You can handle it. You can handle it. Right? I thought I could handle it. Handle it. Interesting language, isn't it? Mm -hmm. well, never mind that. You can handle it. You got it, you're clear enough. And it's like, you can make up for it later. You can make up for it later. There's more time. There's more time? Mm-hmm. Never mind the time that you just waste, that you're gonna waste. There'll be more later. Yeah, there's more time, there'll be more later. Yeah. I hung out with some friends last night for hours and they left around 12.30. My final was today at 10. And I had a whole, all this work to do and I really, I, I planned on staying up all night. And I went to this voice last night that it sent me to sleep. And the same things are coming up. You can make it up for it in the morning. Uh, sleep for a few hours and, and, and wake up and, and and do it then, but that was total bullshit because I needed to spend all that time studying. See, it puts you to sleep. It does, it puts you to sleep. Mm -hmm. And, see, and it's really a dream state when you wake up because that belief that comes out of that leads you to believe this is true even though a whisper says it's not but you go along with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's got two phases in there, doesn't it? You can handle it, and you may you can make it up later, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. What do you make of that? You should look at those two statements. Just look at the two statements. can handle it makes me think that there's some kind of false heroism about that. Yes, there's a false hero. Yes, it is heroic. Yeah, like... Right, I you're a hero. Yeah. Right, it's a oh, hero. I can handle anything. I can handle anything. Right, it's a hero. Right. I can handle it. You can handle it. Right, you can handle anything. Right, good for you. No matter what you do to yourself. Yeah, yeah now do this one. Just talk about it. As you consider that, could you uh, compare it with the first remark, which is this one? Just these two together now. Same thing. This present in both that sense of being able to handle it can make up for it, can make up for the damage later. It reminds me of my youth. Oh, reminds you of your youth? Yeah, and my, my <coughs> life as a student when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. Just I'm giving up on trying. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go there in a moment. I'd rather stay with these words for a few minutes. 
What does it mean to say you can handle it? What does that mean? You can handle it. It means accept not dealing with it now, which is the best time to do it, and instead of putting it off to another time and seeing that I'm still going to be, able, I'm still going to have to deal with this voice at that time later as well. I don't know. I thought I could handle it, even though I hadn't studied it. Right, this is, yeah. Yeah, um, as you consider it in this scrum here, what does this mean? What did this set you up for? Walking not, in not studying. and then taking the test confidently? No. Pardon me. I thought I could handle it, even though I hadn't studied it. This is belief. It was very convincing. Mm -hmm. So as you came into the, into the test room, how were you? Huh? I was, yeah, I was in that belief. Well, in that belief? Yeah. Felt good, felt ready. Felt good, thank you. Right, felt good. Felt you could... Handle it. Handle it. Good. And handle it in this sense means? Um, do well in the test. Yeah, even though yeah. In the study. Be a true hero, hero, heroic. Right, do it. Accomplish it. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Hey, now go back to here. Take the second one now. What does that mean? What does it mean? Seems like a paradigm for mediocrity. Is it... Um, Read it for me, okay? You can make up for it later. There's what does that what does that mean? You ain't gonna make up for it now. You're not oh, then what does this now. suggest with the now? A heroic or a failure? Failure. Ah! <laughs> hey, this is good. No, this is a victory expectation, and this is a failure. Coming off a of failure, is that right? Mm -hmm. Make sure, don't. Absolutely. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, what is, is that rather curious? Do you notice that? Hmm? It's, yeah, I've explored this before. Oh, you have? Then you have seen that you're dealing with an inner contradiction in what you tell yourself? No, actually, I have not seen that before. Oh. Oh. Well then, go ahead, you can handle it, okay, hey, you can make up for it later, means that you've lost, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Two messages, contradiction, huh? Yeah. Um, this is another belief, isn't it? You can make up for it later. Mm -hmm. right, this is an expectation of belief, is it not true? Sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Assumption. yeah. Is that true? Is it true? No. No, no it's not. Oh, it's not true? No. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is not only, right? this is also false. Yeah. I wanted to say it was true. What? Because ha. I said it on Friday afternoon, and if I had actually chosen to study Saturday, then I would have made up for it. But then I thought to myself, but if, if, I'm, if what I'm 
pursuing is being ideal and excellent, then I would study Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and not just start on Saturday and have to make up for it later. So no, it's not good, it's not excellent. Oh. Well, it's then, a failure. Yeah. Making up for a later yeah, is a failure. Yeah. So you can handle it as an expectation of a victory, but since you know you haven't studied, this is also false, isn't it? <clears throat> Yes, it is. Uh, hi, man. Our, our question really is, um, how did you ever get such curious beliefs in your head? Why well, that operate with such certainty and convince you, and yet there's a little voice that keeps telling you this is a lie, and you ignore it repeatedly. So you're a conflict here, isn't there? Right? Because this is true, isn't it? Yes. Wait, repeatedly. Well, that this is a lie. It's true that this is a lie. Correct. It comes repeatedly. Right? Right. Each time you ignore it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I need to be paying attention to, is that voice. Yeah, not paying attention to it. What's the difference between this voice and this one? Okay, just in terms of the sound of it. All right. This was, this is true, it's a good voice. It's holy, it's pure, there's no sense of falsehood in it whatsoever. It's alarmed by what I'm contemplating. The, the, it's a wake-up call. How do you ignore it then? If it's a <clears throat> I mean, you repeatedly ignore it. Yeah, I... I was just thinking, it, uh, uh, with... Is it as convincing as one? Are they equally convincing? Do they come with the same kind of assurance? Do they no. seem to be just as loud, one as the other? Just contrast them for me. No, they're not as equally convincing because I don't have to be convinced of, of, yeah. of two. Yeah, right. Therefore? It's like myself talking to myself. Yeah. No trumpets, just yourself talking to yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me, let's go back to this image now, I right? want to go for the image again, okay? In this one, there's a kind of, you can handle it, heroic, remember we put that word on it? As a sense of being good, heroic, you can do it. Is there also a heroic aspect to number two on this side? You can make up for it later or not? I didn't hear it. You can make up for a later. Yeah, well... See, it's less so. Less so, okay, okay. See, it depends on how much stress you hear your own thought when you say or subvocally say this one word. Right, try it. I can make up for it later. Yeah. 
You can make up for it later. Go ahead, you can make up for it later. <clears throat> it admits of a wide range, doesn't it? <coughs> sure. But because I've been exploring that state with you recently, I mean, that, that uh, statement, I can make up for it later, it seems to have less strength than the other one, number one. Because, well, it doesn't matter, I ignore it anyways, or I have been ignoring it anyway, ignoring the fact that I recognize that that statement is untrue. I'm still yeah. putting myself in the position where I have to make up for it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it looks like then, these two are connected to one another, you see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, let me ask you, say, you know that good sense, you feel good, it's heroic, right? Clear, you thought you could do it, right? Mm -hmm. Going on. That's, that's an interesting state of mind, isn't it? Look at it. Well, if we could chart your high and low states for that day, what was it like going into the room with that expectation, right? Where would you place it? <clears throat> right, it's good. A relic to it. Huh? Where, would you, where should I put the mark? Um, it's, it's up there. It's, well, it's pretty high. Here? Yeah. Here? Sure. What time of the day was it? It was 11 o'clock. Okay, okay, this is 11 o'clock. Never mind now. Huh? Put it right here? Yes. I should consider your whole day. Well, Any other states reach that? Yeah, a bunch of them. Higher or lower? Um, some higher, some lower. Oh, give me a higher one. When I was talking to this female, this girl, Mila. Okay, no, right, okay, what time? Um, 10.59. 10.59? Well, that was before the exam. Yeah. Ah, ah, uh -uh. how about after the exam? Oh, Jesus. I got into an argument with a psychologist. I, stupidly enough, decided to reveal my problem to someone that was into psychotherapy and got into a big argument with him about interpretation and afterwards Rod Wallbank saw me yell at the guy after he was leaving and he called me over and I just broke down and I was really upset and crying mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. this whole episode with the statistics test and then he asked me, <clears throat> well, that was a, bit, that was a low state <clears throat> by far. Okay. He asked me about that state. Mm -hmm. And that was around uh, 2 o'clock, 2.30. Now, were there any high states as high as these after 11 a.m. during that day? During today? Yeah. Um, sure. Fine. Could you could, could you tell me one of them? Yeah, around six o'clock. I was waiting for Julie to come pick me up, and I was meditating. Okay. Yeah. It was very high. I don't know what high means, but... I felt blissed out. Um... Okay. Um... You see, um... <clears throat> Let's take the blissed out state now, shall we? Go ahead. Can you tell us about it? 
Well, I was doing a lot of thinking beforehand, uh -huh. like I usually do, and there was just um, a releasing of those, of the, the image creating process, and I was just seeing myself, and it was brilliant. I was seeing myself. Well, I was closer to seeing myself, at least, and it was powerful, bright. <sighs> what? Yeah. Why are you sighing? Yeah, well, I thought maybe you'd uh, tell me about what... See, I want to see whether you can describe that point. We have three points now, see? One, two, three. And uh, try it. Can you tell me? How would you describe what you call high? That high. Go ahead. Or that it was high because it's high. Yeah, to, to put some words on it. Go ahead. With this chalk, I can put it on the board. Go ahead. It was ecstatic. Yeah, okay. You don't like the word? Oh, I do. I do. I just wondered what it means. Go ahead. <clears throat> it was spiritual. Oh, spiritual, yeah, I, I like that word too, okay, I'll put that down. <laughs> it was a word. Could you put more words on it, please? It was alive, powerful. Alive, powerful, go ahead. Awake. Awake. It was good. Now, remember how you were talking about it a moment ago? You were getting close to yourself, as you called it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what, what was going on? What was going on then? There was clarity, rather than images. Right? No images? Right, no images. And uh, what was on what what was on your mind? Nothing. Yeah. Well, that's kinda of interesting, isn't it? That it doesn't do you any good? Yeah. Well, is that interesting? It doesn't do any good? In terms of my goals, you mean? Right. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's ironic. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because... Um, is there something similar now? in that sense of convincing and certainty that goes with this. See how you, how you put it here, these three? They're, uh, they're close together, aren't they? Right. There's something about them. They're all highs. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's odd. Yeah, what do you find out about it? That I could be in a state where I'm accepting a falsehood or I've, or I've been convinced of a falsehood and still be high. Still feel good about myself. Yeah, you even called it clear. Remember what you said earlier? You said yeah. you thought you could, even though you hadn't studied, you had done yoga and you were pretty clear. Is that what you said before? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah? <clears throat> this is true. Huh? So you're cultivating a state, you enjoy getting into it, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That causes you to lose your battle. Could you say what do you mean? Oh, oh, well nothing, just what you said. You said, what, didn't you say going into that test was feeling heroic, you could do it, it was a good sense to it, it was good. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, that sense of being a hero, right, living that state of mind, right, is costing you what? Excellence. 
Oh, oh. Ha! Well, then this is, this is also heroic over here, isn't it? You can handle it. Well, that's heroic. This is heroic to a less degree. This is the hero. Hey, ready to engage. Some hero. Right. There's only one problem. Haven't mastered swordsmanship. Right. Right. You haven't mastered your art. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's that's. <laughs> is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if it turns out you have to give up being a hero in order to be excellent? I mean, that would be an irony, wouldn't it? Sure would. Yeah. I mean, what are you going to do about that role? Work. Mm. Ah, oh, work. <laughs> work. Right. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I enjoyed that fact that, that remember at 1059 you had that state of mind that you enjoyed with that young lady? Yeah. Yeah. Was that also a heroic kind of playing out the role of the hero with her before? Gallant. What are you? Yeah, it was gallant, I guess. It was mindful. Yeah, mindful. All those qualities. Charming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What are you going to do? Um, I mean, you might have an interest in girls. Slightly. Oh, 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 oh. And you found the hero role pretty effective? Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, then, was it effective with this young lady? I don't know if it was a role, though. I was just speaking with her. Pardon me, didn't you say you were, a moment ago, didn't you give some of those qualities? You often gallant. No. Uh, I don't know what I did. Did I work for Gallant? Yeah, you did. Well, oh, okay. You just wondered about it. I don't know. I was speaking with her. Of course. How? What state of mind? Looking at her right into the eyes. Oh, good. Without good. blinking. Well, without blinking. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Why do you... Because... Why, why is that important, not blinking? It's just something that I do for some reason. Don't blink that much. Yeah, and yeah. People have commented on it before, and yeah, but I knew you, that that's what was happening. Yeah, you were talking to the young lady in this way. Yeah. Right, right, right. Forthright. Yeah. Open. Yes. Oh, strong. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't have any qualities of a hero. No, it does. Oh, it does. Oh. But I, I don't think it, I was being false with her. I, I didn't say. I, hey, hey, I, you know, I, I'm not sure about those things. Oh, okay. Yeah, just wondering whether or not you can say, therefore, the uh, hero game plays itself out also in your relations with, at times, with young ladies. Yeah, this makes it sound bad, though. Well, I didn't make it bad. <laughs> I just asked whether or not. Because when you say game, I'm thinking of the pathologos and how that's supposed to be a game, or the, how that is a game that we play and. I wouldn't want to do that with... Yeah, but you don't want to give it up, do you? Yeah, I do. What? Then what are you going to do? How are you going to get the young ladies that interest you? How am I going to get them? Yeah, or attract them, or relate to them without that very interesting role. That's just a question. Yeah, well, that's all. Just wondered about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just wondered. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, well, in any case, you've been preparing to be a certain kind of hero, haven't you? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Failure. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> Isn't that great? Uh, no, I don't, I could think of greater things. Well, but think of it this way. I mean, it is rather curious, isn't it? That here you are, you want to be a hero. You're doing all this yoga and concentration meditation. You're putting yourself in a clear state. Right? 
and the beliefs you have in your mind are setting you up for the failure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I felt, after the tests, I felt like, I just felt so unreal. I mean, I, I had a, a lot of good experiences recently and feeling a lot better about myself as a human being overall in my life than I ever have before. But today it was just like, like that was a sham, all of it, just a bunch of BS. Because here it is, one of the most important things in my life, and I'm getting a D. Oh, well, you didn't blame the fact that you have this curious belief, though. I see. No, the I, fact I'm that you had this that. sense of a D wiped out your view that you had, in fact, achieved certain things in your life. Yeah, that I was a hero. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah the, can you repeat that? Oh, no, I could. I could. I wondered whether you could, though. Uh, that I got a D wiped out that image of, of a, achievement or somehow changed that? I don't know. Did you say that uh, after this D experience, you look back on yourself and all the things that you had previously felt good about achieving, that you then depreciated them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have a choice. You either can depreciate them now that you have a clearer vision uh, of yourself with a D in your back pocket, mm -hmm. right? And you can say, well, then these are all phony, right? right? Mm -hmm. Or you might look for the reason and it looks like there's it is. There it is. Right. <laughs> right, it went over the other. You went for this. Yeah. Yeah, wipe yourself out. That's yeah. Terrible. Yeah, yeah. I wonder whether you're as curious I, as I am about uh, where did you get this great teaching of being a hero? It's rather important, isn't it? Because they gave you the role, but look at the teaching that goes with the role. do well in school so I could become president of the United States one day. Someone who would impress people. Someone who had money and power. I used to read comic books a lot. There's a whole bunch of kinds of heroes in there. I, I'm not sure I, I have exactly what it, that good advice she gave you. Become a president so you can get what? Money, power, fame, fame, honor, honor. Right. Right. Or a doctor or a lawyer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, then she must have. Uh, Tried to help you succeed, is that right? That's just it. She didn't. What? No, in fact, she created all the circumstances in which I could flake off and, and not really focus on my studies. How'd she do that? How did she get you to, while well, telling you about the importance yeah. of this kind of a victory, right? Presidency, right? Or doctor, lawyer, Indian chief, whatever it may be, right? <laughs> Yeah, whatever it may be, right? Well, she had a television. She had a television? Yeah. From time to time. Well, she always let me watch it. Where I watched it a lot. And from time to time, she would ask me to agree with her that isn't it nice that we have such great things? Mm -hmm. Isn't it nice that we're, we're, we have such a, such a status as a family and society such that we can have all these nice things like a TV and a VCR? And yeah, when she was home, 
And in the evening, although she would use turning off the television as a punishing tool, a lot of the time she would just forget that she had given that kind of a punishment and we would watch it for hours. And it's a good time to do homework and she never really pushed me to do it. Oh, what, what did she say when she knew you had homework and those kinds of... She asked me if I got it done, if I finished my homework. And I lied to her about it and she accepted repeatedly. it. Repeatedly. Yeah, repeatedly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, day in and day out. Yeah. Even though you hadn't studied it. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Is there something curious about this? You're still doing it. It's like you're still doing it. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Like you're still doing it. You knew it was a lie. You knew that's a lie. You're still doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Hey, what was it like when you uh, told her that? There you are watching the TV. She comes in. She knows you have been watching the TV all along. And she asks whether or not you've done your homework. Do I have the story correctly? Yes, sir. And she asks whether you've done your homework, and you say? Yes. Uh-huh. With a little bit of worry that she might actually check to see if I did. But on the other hand, you know that she let you watch TV during all this period. Uh-huh. Oh. Well, I, I'm not sure I understand. Are you telling me that she knew it was a lie? <clears throat> and you knew it was a lie? No, no, there was a, no. There was a lot of times when I was at home when she was not at home where I could have been doing homework and she wouldn't have known either way. But I don't know if she knew it was a lie, but she didn't really try and figure out whether or not it was. So. I mean, I kept on having report cards. That were all A's? No. That were what? Failures again. D's. And D's. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened when you got the home? When you got the D's home? Oh, then she would go to town. She. Let me hear. Let me hear. When she goes to town. Go ahead. You're a loser. You're you're gonna. Go grow up and work in a gas station. Huh? You're a lazy bum. Loser, go ahead. Lazy bum, go ahead. Go on. Can't believe you let other people be better than you. Ah, I think you are like, let other people be better than you. Yeah. Come on, more. No. Now you got D's. That's. Now what's going to happen? Well, I played that same trip on myself today. What one? The loser, lazy bum. Yeah, now the same speeches come in. Yeah. You're playing this over. Doing it to myself. Isn't that clever? Isn't that great? We're great actors, aren't we? Yeah, all we got to do is figure out why we're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you know what? You really had her there when she's blowing up, didn't you? What do you mean? Well, yeah, right. She why? Was, why? No, I was the sole object of her attention. At the mo in the moment. She was excited. Well, what is she showing all this concern when you got a D? Yeah, when I'm F? F or D. F or D, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, because while I'm watching television, no. or when I tell her that well, I got my homework done, she doesn't check it. To could, you could have reminded her of that then, couldn't you? Yeah, I could have. Well, why wouldn't you? Because I felt victorious that she what? was convinced. What? What? I felt victorious. That that what? That she accepted my lie. And I. Could I felt victorious that she accepted my lie. Go ahead. That. So then I could continue to watch television, which was kind ah, of fun. Kind of fun. Sort By of. By God, you know that moment must be pretty high. That moment of victorious. Yeah, I guess. Well, you. It's not a real high. But wait a minute. In terms of feelings. Sure. It's worthless, though. So then, uh, you, you you didn't then. Uh, what would it be like to, to tell her about that then? Tell her about. Yeah. What um, you just what? What you just said that uh, hey you know I've been watching TV and you let me. Never cared to see whether I did it or not. Oh well, she probably would say it's because you hang out with the wrong kind of people that you learned how to do these things. I don't let you do that. Hmm. She'd lie about it. Oh, she'd lie too. Yeah. Well then, with all this lie, it looks like then this continues. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. She lies, you lie, yeah. continues. And you feel great and victorious when you lie to her. and She tells you this and back and forth and it goes on and on. Mm -hmm. That's very exciting. Isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. Well, no, no, is it? It's a drama. Yeah. It is a drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just thought it was interesting in one that you said, the first thing you said about you said, um, you felt victorious because she was convinced. Mm -hmm. There's the convincing at the top of the board that, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. which is what you do to yourself with that. Yeah. He now plays all of these roles against himself. does it all. That's our mental life, you see. A labyrinth. This is our labyrinth. But, uh, <clears throat> see, This happened for how many, how often? Every time the report cards came out? Mm -hmm. So it happened again and again and again and again. Yeah, but I, I sought to um, hide the report cards and change them and keep them from her. And? Um, sometimes it was successful, sometimes not. Well, what happened when you changed it, falsified it so that it looked good? I don't think that I liked the change. It didn't look like it worked real well. I didn't give it to her. You mean you, it wasn't done artfully enough, so you didn't give it to her? Exactly. Oh, okay. So at those times you just didn't give it to her? Yeah. I see. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I, she seems like, no, she did, no, I don't want to say that. I, I was, Never mind. I was thinking that she actually went out of her way to go and get the report card from the school. Did she? But I'm not sure. Okay, well you're not sure, then, you, then she didn't. Yeah. Well if she did, she didn't let you know, or you'd be sure. Mm. Well, see, there's something here though that's rather curious. Um, that we don't have yet. What's that? Well, this, 
this statement. We're not close to it. Not that all of this isn't interesting, but we need this statement. Now, can you just read that for me? I thought I could handle it even though I hadn't studied it. Well, got that state of mind going into the class? Felt good? Well, state of mind? Put words on it now. Go ahead. Well, sound is convincing? Sure, right? Now, you have to see whether you can describe the state of mind you're in as you walk into that classroom. Can you do that? Clear, prepared. That's so weird though, because I wasn't prepared. I mean, I knew I wasn't prepared. I just felt that way. I guess I felt prepared to take a test I wasn't prepared to take. That's why I was interested in putting some words on that, see? It's a very interesting state of mind. Right? It's clear, mm -hmm. said that more than once. Felt like you were prepared. Right? What else would you say? Happy. Yeah. Good. More. Come on, I like that. Come on. Happy. Oh, you're happy. Yeah, I exchanged a smile with the teacher. Yeah. Is he Right. 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 Smile with the teacher? Relationship. Clear. Yeah. Felt good? Clear? Felt like you're prepared. Pre prepared for something I wasn't prepared for though. Yeah, yeah, that, don't worry about that part. Just just the state of mind, the feeling state. All right. Confident? <clears throat> uh, confident that I was alive and ready to take a test that I hadn't studied for. I and mean, that, that, that ready is not a real ready, though. I, we don't mind that. We just want the names you put on that state of mind. That it happens to be false doesn't matter. Ready. Now that was a good word. Got See, any others? Ready, ready in this context is that I was there to take the test. I wasn't trying to skip out on it. I was but, there to take it. There. But I wasn't Not to skip ready. out. To, I wasn't ready to get an A on it, or even a C. Okay. See, I'm interested in the history, in your personal history, of this state of mind that you've just described. That's all I'm interested in. Now watch, I'll repeat the words, right? You're there. I'm not skipping out. I'm You're clear. Felt prepared. Ready. Felt good. Could relate with the teacher. Right? That's a very interesting state of mind. I would very much like to know if we could now take that and have a whole history of it. Like, where does it come from? When did you experience it other times? Oh, that's what I'd like, see? That's all. So if we just took this and said, we're interested in finding those times in your life when you experienced it here, 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 here. That's what I mean by history of it. Because part of it looks very much like the way in which you related the story with the young lady at 1059. 
Well, I think you recall, remember you said clear, not blinking, straightforward, all that? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Did those other words fit it too? You're there, right there, ready, mm -hmm. well prepared, clear. Mm -hmm. huh? So well, I've been experiencing that state of mind a lot. Fine. But it's it's a, it seems good. I mean, it feels good. I don't I don't see that that's a problem, except for the context, because. What was a problem was that I hadn't studied. Feeling good about myself and happy. When in reality, you shouldn't be. What well, should I be? Should I feel guilty that I hadn't studied? I, I couldn't do anything about I, it at that point. Oh, but how long were you in that state? It was 11 o'clock. How long were you in that state? Eight o'clock? What time did you get up? Seven thirty. Seven? Well, could you have studied from seven thirty to eleven? Yeah. I Louder? I studied some, but I spent a lot of time socializing and on the way to school I was reading the Gospel of Sri Ramakrishna rather than studying. And that felt clear, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know what's curious is it looks like you can get in that clear, I wonder whether every time you can get in that clear and good state you should be doing something else. <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, wouldn't that be fun? Well, I get into this clear, good state on Friday nights and... Well, well let me ask you something, okay? Come on. Okay. Give me an early scene in your life when you experience that kind of state. That one? At home, living in the family? Felt prepared. Felt prepared. Pierre, it's not just felt prepared. It's prepared. It was prepared to take the test even though I hadn't studied. I knew at 11 o'clock that I was not ready to do well in this test. And I was prepared to deal with it as it was. Because at that moment, at that time, I mean, the, a voice, okay, this is something I didn't tell you about before. <clears throat> like from 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock on, I was resigned to the fact that I was not ready. Oh. There was oh. no chance that oh. I could be ready. Oh. 9 to 11 resigned. To do well. Same question. Could you have used that time to improve your grade? Yes, I could have. Therefore, that's another example that's, of a lie. Yeah, that's right. That's another lie. Yeah, because of that, I didn't get. I could have. I could have used those two hours to have been ready to pass that test, and I didn't. Yeah. Now, see, it's getting to be, see, you were resigned to the fact that you were going to fail or do low or, or poorly yeah. at nine. And you were aware of that until 11? The resignation? Yeah. It kept coming up. Okay. That's not all I was thinking. It came up by... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or whatever I think on the test. How? Uh, that sense of resignation, how long did it stay with you? It kept coming up. So I'll put it this way for now. You change it. Well, um, I like that, the points, because it wasn't something I wanted to think about too much. Oh. So it would, it, it would reset. So then each time you were aware of this, um, 
Could you also be in this state? Clear? I felt prepared? Ready? Felt good? No. No? Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? Uh, by the way, did that peak occur as you walked into the classroom as well? The resign? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I didn't want to think about it though. Yeah. So then there's two states of mind going on. One is this confident one and the other is resigned to failure yeah. or to poor grades. Simultaneously. Hmm. hmm. Or what? Well, they're trading off. Well, they're trading off. Mm -hmm. Well, that's rather curious, isn't it? Yeah. Say, remember that story you told us about when you were able to tell your mother that uh, you had done the work? Remember how you described it a few minutes ago? Mm hmm. As um, victorious. Victorious, yeah, go ahead. More. And relieved. Relieved? Now, now how'd she look at that moment when you were talking to her? How'd she look? Um, did you look at her or at the, at the wall or the shoes or what did you look at? No, I don't think I was looking at her. I was probably looking at the television. Oh, then you didn't. Hoping see. she'd shut up, leave me alone. Yeah. That's why it would be good to have an example in your mind that you could draw upon rather than an, a general impression. That's why recollection is so important for this kind of work, you see. Mm -hmm. right. Like, do you remember some time when she came in and you were watching the TV? And she came in and said that? Or do you have no specific memory of it? No, no specific. It just okay. seems like it happened That's right. a few different times. Happened so many times. Yeah. That, well, okay. Right. But That's tough for me to get specifics. It's a lot of my memories. I don't... Well, yes, 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 of course. What? Why is that? Yeah, well... That would be another inquiry, but just right now we know then that there's an interesting high state when you told her that you were prepared. Uh -huh. right. And we're just wondering how close it is to that state of mind that we just described here. Well, it's... Uh, yeah, yeah, I felt clear. Clear? But th it's different in the, in, in the context because in the one hand, I'm prepared to take a test that I'm not ready for and ready to take a test I'm not ready for. On the other hand, I'd be prepared and ready to continue watching television, which is very different than taking a test. Oh. Um. I think the question is whether or not the states of mind are similar. Yes, they are. Right, that's what we're after. Mm -hmm. And we can ask that in, the, in, the, in, the, in this way. There you are, right? You're facing the situation, you're not trying to avoid it, right? Your mother is at there, or you're at the test, either one, mm -hmm. right? Now, but, all right? Now watch the words. You're there, clear, felt prepared, Felt ready. Do those set of terms describe both scenes? Is that what you're trying to convince her of? That you're ready? That you are prepared? Oh yeah, they got the homework done. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a victory. That's the moment of victory. Christ Almighty. That's, that's your moment of victory. That one moment. You're one-upping her, right? That moment of glory. <laughs> Isn't that clever? 
，没有，没有。I gotta, I gotta get out of this. Pardon? I have to get out of this. I gotta, I have to beat that one. Well, the thing to do is to see it even more clearly. Mm -hmm. Have any more exams? I have a. My English teacher has given me another opportunity. To complete the research paper and get the grade that I deserve to get in the class, which is an A. When do you, when is the paper due, sir? Thursday before twelve. Uh, all right. What are you going to be doing tomorrow? You're going to go through the whole thing. You want to get out of it? Yes. Keep your eyes open. Watch what happens. That's all. Just mm -hmm. see how much of what we have here on the blackboard you have to face. And how much you still believe, because if there's any part that you haven't yet identified, it's going to live out in your life. Uh, what's your opinion for Thursday at eleven o'clock at noon? Will you have it ready? I told. See, that's the problem, Pierre. That's a very good question, because I was speaking to him yesterday on the phone, and when I was on the phone with him, I felt clear and there it is. Resolved there to is. get it done. Yeah. And today I was supposed to work on it. Well, actually, okay. Today I was supposed to work on it, and instead, I went and bought some cigarettes. But I did end up making it into the library, and then discovered that I wasn't fully prepared in terms of the material that I brought with me to school to work on it. So I decided that I'd do it tomorrow. But there was a whole bunch of there was dramas going on in my head about not doing it and telling myself that it was okay to just accept a B in the class today. <coughs> Rather than getting that A, and then and then, then a voice coming up telling me that that was not good. Well, you're seeing the battle going on right now. Yeah, today. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, what's my prediction for eleven? Yeah. Twelve. Um, I'm gonna have it done. Well, in any case, you'll see something about yourself. Mm -hmm. well, as you're watching all of this, watching it go down, just one word on this, sir. Huh? You think this state is good to be in, clear. I like clarity, but yeah. I don't like I don't like the, I don't like that state in regards to what happened today. Yeah, because. That doesn't mean it, you can be clear even though you're conning yourself. Which is weird. What do you think of that? Sounds dumb. That's right. This clarity does not in any way block you from fooling yourself right in the middle of your clarity. That is correct. But if you think being clear is itself good, and mean something about how prepared you are, it looks like you have to go through this a few more times. The battle is over being clear. Heroic. But Pierre, if I, if I win this battle and I do get my work done, my stuff that I enjoy doing, that will be clear. I'll be clear then. I, I, I've felt it before when I just sit down there on my meditation cushion with my statistics homework and I'm just getting it done. It's very clear. It's very powerful. So what is it that you're saying about that clarity? It's very clear 
that you can be clear and calm yourself. Yes, that's true. Therefore, the state of mind of being clear is not a sign of truth. It doesn't say you can't be clear here and there and other places. The only question is if you take that as a sign that in fact what you are in that state, what you do feel and say is true, it cannot be regarded as true, can it? From this, there you are clear, you felt prepared, right? felt that you're ready, and you know that it's not true. Yeah, I didn't know that. Therefore, the sign that you're clear is in itself and not is not in itself a sign of truth. Only understanding is. That's Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was a Theseus trip trying to slay the Minotaur. Can you say more about that? That's what we're doing. This is a labyrinthian search, isn't it? Going through all of the pathways. Yeah. We're trying to find the monster, the lie. Mm -hmm. Because only Socrates was heroic, all the others. He was the only one who went down into Lambert to slay the Minotaur. Socrates was. Mm -hmm. In the Phaedo. Uh -huh. Yeah. Theseus. And Socrates as the hero philosopher. Right. So what was the Minotaur that he slayed? What was the Minotaur actually? In what, were, in what world? In the mythical world? No, in the, the analogy. Yeah. Socrates slays the Minotaur. That's a metaphor, go ahead. Right. For. What is the metaphor for? Uh, what is the metaphor for? Yeah, like to make a point about the nature of death. Is it, could it not be their beliefs about death that he's slain? Then you don't slay death. There's a difference between slaying death and slaying beliefs about death. Yeah. After, he, after Theseus slays the Minotaur, he went down there alone. He comes back up and he has to convince the people there that he just didn't go down into one of the corridors and had it snooze and came back up and said, let's go home, I slew the Minotaur. He has to convince them. Ah, so that's the dealing with the beliefs part. That's the belief. There's only one way you can slay death, and that is to separate the soul from the body while alive and know that there's such a thing as a separation from the soul from the body, and therefore death is in that sense destroyed, the fear of death. Mm -hmm. Yes. But uh, thank you for your uh, offering this. On an evening we were going to talk about a hero. Worked out nicely. Thank you.